even have in the house. Ooh, let's keep the show to sweet. Hello, world. Thank you for tuning in to the Short and Sweet Show. Today's guest is one of my friends, Tyson Haskins. Come on out, Tyson. What's good? Tyson, how are you? So good. Thank you for having me. You, well, you're welcome. But there's multiple reasons why I wanted you to come on. First of all, you're a god with video and editing. And like, I remember you were like 17 when you started to like do videos and make videos. Yep. When did you really start? How old were you? Oh, I mean, I was one of those like classic kids with the video camera and making videos and editing when I was little, except we didn't have any editing software back then. We were like using a tape recorder. So, you know, like I wanted to put music in my video. And so I'd even like get my CD player and hit stop and start at the same time so that we could have music playing. Uh, yeah. Did your time. family, like, was everybody in your family like that? Or No, I was really the only one. Um, you know, my siblings are super older than me. Um, my, my other sister, uh, Kim, she's 10 years older than me. So I was like basically a only child growing up and just, I was obsessed with TV and I just watched it constantly studying it my whole life even though I didn't really realize that most people don't watch TV the way that I do what was your favorite show home improvement was your favorite up. show growing up growing up yeah I mean I have a bunch but home improvement was my favorite growing up now I one of the things I do know about you is you actually were a big fan of the office yep and you won a, a huge contest what was that yeah I did so the office uh, came on at a, like a really difficult time in my life. I've struggled with like anxiety and depression um, and that show really lifted me up and uh, towards the end of the show they had a contest, a one minute uh, video contest to see who could be the biggest fan and I just started doing rap as a way of expressing myself and it, it was like a verbal journal for me and so I was like I'm gonna do a one minute video um, that will explain how big of a fan I am. And I just included a bunch of different references from the show. And uh, Angela from the show was the judge uh, and they chose my video. And so I got to fly out to Scranton for the rap party and there were 10,000 fans there. And, uh, and then I met the creator of the show, Greg Daniels. And he said, well, I like your video. Um, how about for our concert tomorrow, you rap your winning entry for all of the fans. They wanted and, uh, you to rap. They and, did. And in front of thousands of people. Yeah, and at that point I've rapped for just like my family, maybe like 15 people, and then I'd rap for 10,000. Uh, so I've was, never been so scared, but it was the coolest experience to be rapping in front of Jim and Pam and Dwight and all these other Office fans. Yeah, what did they yeah. think of it? They were really supportive, you know? Just, uh, I thought the cast would be, you know, since there's big Hollywood stars at this point, thought they'd be a little snobby, a little pretentious, but everybody was super welcoming and, you know, they're, they're as cool as they are on, on the show. <laughs> it's so, but then you also still loved acting, that you started to get into shows. How many shows have you, yeah. you acted in? I mean, I've, I've worked on a lot of different television shows. Um, I had a segment for Park City TV where I've uh, hosted, um, and now I'm just working on my uh, podcast and my YouTube show where I talk to people from TV shows as well. So you, and it's called Spitcoms. Yeah. So, tell us about it. Um, well, my biggest passions in life are television comedies and hip hop. And I just wanted a way to, uh, you know, find excuses to talk to the people that I want to learn from and the people that I grew up like loving. And so, um, I started reaching out to people. I, I've done a show on The Office. I did a show on Home Improvement. I interviewed Richard Karn, who's Al Borland from that show, and I talked to the creator of Home Improvement, and um, you know, just do you picks, have a dream their guest that you and, want on there? Oh man, I have a few, but I have I love this show. It's kind of an indie show uh, called Freaks and Geeks, and I'd love to interview Judd Apatow, who helped run that one. James Franco and Seth Rogen and all those guys were on that show back in the day. Only went for one season, but it's one of my favorite shows. So I'm hoping to do that. That's cool. We're going to take a break, and then when we come back, can we get you to 
to wrap for us? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. That's that game. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks for listening and watching the short and sweet show. Today's episode is brought to you by Hatch Family Chocolates Pot de Creme. Yeah, it's a French-styled baked custard with real cream. We top these suckers with real whipped cream. It's as smooth as butter, I tell you. Anyways, I eat these things all the time. So if you want to find some for yourself, look at HatchFamilyChocolates.com or come into our shop. Anyways, thanks for listening and back to the show. We're back. Tyson. Okay. I want you to rap, but I mean, if you were to rap about the chocolate shop, do, do, can you just spit out a, a rap? I'm not super great at freestyling, but maybe I'll, I'll try and throw something in it. Do you end. have anything prepared? I, I've got something unreleased that I can do. Let me try. So I'm going to have to pay you for the copyright? Maybe. I have chocolate. You or like you can, Coda Krebs. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. If, like if anybody book. hasn't seen, which, if anybody hasn't been here for a pot de creme, then you're missing out on life. They are fantastic. Dare I say the best chocolate I've ever had. So you're doing an advertisement for us? Yeah, <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear your rap, man. Okay. All right. So reverse what you last heard like a backward password. Eminem set the standards, but the words were a hazard. A real craft master unaware of the cancer and blasting these terms that just turned to disaster. I'm not making light, I'm just widening the aperture and trying to capture what rappers are really after. And it seems like they'd rather hunt than gather. Jurassic like the raptors, I rap for the raptures. I like their flow, but their verbs won't roll with me. I had to snap back to the meaning of this poetry. Put on a show and still design rhymes nobly. A message scrolling from the west coast globally and totally, cause growing pains are part of coming up. I'm going out on a limb and I'm calling your bluff unique, huh? Those words aren't tired enough, it's not funny anymore like Shia LaBeouf. And I'm doing this without a beat, I'm here with with Steve Hatch, and this is short and sweet. Whoa. Tyson, I love you, man. Thank you. Thanks for being a part of our show. Appreciate it. And how can people find you? Oh, at Spitcoms, all of social media, and uh, yeah, anywhere you listen to your podcast. Judd, get on a show. Please. Thanks. Hats in the house. Ooh, let's keep it short and sweet. Let's keep it short and sweet now. Let's keep it short and sweet. Let's keep it short and sweet now. Let's keep it short and sweet. Let's keep it short and sweet.